RMP presents Ark Survival Dramatic Rescue. Hey, what's up, guys? Kevin here, aka MMP, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival or maybe Fear Evolved. I just signed into the game here, and it looks like we've had a bit of a reboot for Halloween. Um, so I have no idea what to expect. Um, it says here that they have uh, launched a one-week holiday event with new creatures, tames, dino costumes, decorations, pumpkin carvings, blah blah blah, a whole bunch of different stuff. So uh, yeah, I guess let's dive into the game and uh, see if this throws a wrench into our plans for today. Uh, but in any case, looks like some exciting stuff. So I'm gonna load up the world and see you guys on the other side. Alright guys, the textures are still kind of loading in here a little bit, but we mostly have our world surrounding us. And it looks like the biggest change that I'm noticing right off the bat is we have some beautiful foliage. We've got some autumn colors here that have uh, canvassed across the landscape, so that looks pretty cool. Uh, other thing that I've noticed right away is obviously this guy... Nope, <laughs> I thought he got stuck again for a second there. But he has broken loose. Uh, from being stuck over here, and I hope that that doesn't mean that this girl has also broken loose. This was the female, right? The Dodo Rex has appeared? Wh what does that mean? I don't know if I should be scared or excited. The Dodo Rex. Is this going to be the size of a dodo or the size of a T-Rex? <laughs> yeah, so this wall is just completely ineffective. What we have to decide right now for our plan of attack today, I think that what we're going to have to do is just focus on what I was originally planning on tackling today. And if we happen to stumble across some sweet Halloween goodies, uh, then all the better. I don't know what exactly the dodo rex is, but hopefully we come across it during our travels. So what I had in mind today is to hopefully reunite the family. My original plan to go and rescue Dave and Phyllis hinged upon using iced tea, leveling him up a bit, and then just kind of going on a rampage down the shoreline until we made it back to the old, uh, the old stomping grounds. But I think what might actually be a better strategy, as somebody pointed out in the comments after the last video, I haven't even tried using um, am I going to be able to get around? We might just have to kill this thing. Um, I haven't actually tried using a raft yet. And since we were on the coast, I might actually just try to build a raft. Or better yet, that was my plan. That was the idea that I had. Was to use the bed to fast travel back to the other place. And then build a raft there. And hopefully sail Phyllis and Dave the Second right on down. If that fails, we do have a plan B. Uh, it's a longer play, but we will cross that bridge when we come to it. So am I going to be able to sneak by you? I am not. All right. Um, Randy, are you capable of killing... Hmm. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir, but you are in the way, and this is going to be a problem. So, let's see. All neutral... Here we go. Get him, Ice-T. Get him. Come get some, son. And good night, sir. <laughs> oh, man. Ice-T. With a vengeance, huh, brother? There you go. You earned it. Have a snack. Finish him off. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, he's growing up so fast. I'm going to close this door so that... <laughs> not that these spike walls are actually stopping anybody. But uh, hopefully fewer people will randomly wander in. Uh, so what are you doing down here, Dana? Why don't you uh, Why don't you follow me? Come on. Come on, Dana. Come on up here. Let's check on everybody, huh? Who's got some level ups? Who's got some level ups? Randy, how you been, my man? I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. I uh, don't want to ride you. I want to access your inventory. Uh, why don't we increase your speed? You are going to be my speed demon. Only 3% increase? All right. 
Uh, let's see, Timmy, you don't have any level ups right now. Let's see, everybody stay where you are. Nice tea, my good boy. Oh yeah, you got some raw prime meat off of, uh, off of that thing that you just killed. So why don't we increase your melee damage? Yeah, it's a pretty good increase. Sweet. Um, who's left? Who needs some upgrades? Dylan, how you doing, buddy? Yep, you've got an upgrade. Why don't we boost your health? Sweet. And I think that that covers pretty much everybody. All right, so everybody just stick tight. We are about to go on our suicide mission to reunite the family. We'll see how long this takes today. Uh, I don't know if this is going to be a whole episode consuming adventure or if... Uh, are you guys still following me? No, everybody stay. Oh, I was hitting you stay. I need all to stay. That's you. There we go. And everybody's set to neutral in case some bad guys come wandering along while I'm gone. Now, let's see. Hey, Mrs. Dave. How you doing? Do you have a level up? You do. Uh, health as always. You know the drill. Okay, you stick tight. Now, do I want to leave anything behind in case disaster befalls us? I don't think I have anything terribly valuable on hand. Might as well take that wood because we're going to have to build the... Oh, actually, I don't know if we can take anything when we fast travel. I think that I might just leave everything behind. Um, e fast travel drops items. All right, I wonder if it even like takes the clothes off our back, or if we can take that stuff with us. I'll be back, Mrs. Dave. Hopefully, with Mr. Dave. Oh yeah, it did take the clothes off. Hopefully, they're still there when we get back. Dave. You're out here, my man. Oh, you're a beautiful sight for sore eyes. Oh, wow. All right, and Phyllis, how you doing over here, huh? Yeah, there's my good girl. So, you guys, I have got a plan for us. Now, I don't know if it's going to work, but I've got high hopes for it. So bear with me while I go down and chop up. Oh, you know what? Actually, da -da -da, do we have some stuff in the storage box still? We've got some... But we don't have any wood <laughs> or any tools. All right, so we're going to have to pretty much whip up some tools very quickly here. Oh, wait, we have this other storage box and not much in it. Okay, well, I've got to round up some wood very quickly, guys. There we go. Just bumped up the gamma. Hopefully that'll be easier to see. I think I might have done it a bit too high, though. Gamma 3.6, maybe? Yeah, that's pretty good right there. Now, there is a giant croc over there. So let's try to steer clear of that side of the swamp. Can I sneak through here? I need a couple of rocks. I am struggling to find rocks right now. They look like they're everywhere, but none of these are harvestable. Oh, there we go. There's a few. Awesome. Hopefully that'll be enough. All right, guys. So we got some basic tools together here. Oh, little lag. Uh, why don't we jump in here and actually learn the engram for the raft, which I don't think we've done yet. Raft, 11 anger points. Sweet. So let's check out what we actually need to build the raft. 250 pieces of wood, 125 fiber, and 75 hides. Oh my. I did not realize we needed that many hides. Uh, well, let's get started on the basic stuff like the wood and the fiber. What is that noise? What is that noise? <gasps> Quick, I have to, uh, I have to lure him away or something. Come on, come on, come on. Out to sea, out to sea, come on, come on. Let's go, fat ass. Come on, big boy. There you go. You got nothing. You got nothing on me. Oh, <laughs> alright, two of you might. Two of you might have something on me. Are they, are they right behind me? Did we lose them? I don't think they actually might have... He's still kind of coming after me. 
Maybe if we lure them this way, they'll get distracted and try to fight this guy. Oh, jeez. What is that, a Dilo? Oh, whoa. No, that's a boa. That's a boa. Oh, I passed out. Am I gonna die? I don't even know what this means. I haven't had this happen before. I think that's just the frog hopping around. I'm guessing that I just have to sit here until my torpor goes down low enough so I can regain consciousness. <laughs> How did we ever live here? God, I'm back here for five minutes and I'm already dying. Oh. Ooh, I'm awake. We didn't die. That was a miracle. That was a Christmas miracle. Oh, man. I thought everything was dead. I thought I was dead. Dave was dead. All right. Well, that was exciting. Let's get back to chopping wood. What is that noise? What is that noise? Oh, he's back. Man, can't this guy just leave us alone? I wonder if the light actually attracts them. Because I just lit that fire. I know I'm starving. I don't think we have any chance to kill this thing, though. Come on, big guy. If we can somehow survive this, there were those couple of Dilos. If they're still alive, we could kill those for meat. We're chitting. There's, there's plenty of those, um... Oh, God. No, this is it. I'm dead. I'm dead. Ah! Yep. Level 12 Sarko. Hmm. Well, no harm in giving it one more shot before we move on to plan B. Alright, you guys still safe back here? Did I get that big mean crocodile away? Let's see if we can't run over there and grab our stuff really quick. There we go. Take all, please. Oh, 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 that's a big snake. That is a big snake. What is... Oh, it sounded like a Dilo. Is that a Dilo? There's one. Unconscious. Is there a second one? Let's see, I always forget this one is for meat. Cool. Oh, what was that? Was that the snake? What the hell was that? Oh, is that one of those giant mosquito things? A whole army of them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Killed a. Oh, okay. Some rescue attempt, huh? Alright guys, here's what I'm thinking. Might be time for plan B. Uh, I can't even respawn an old glory anymore, um, because I'm dying too frequently, but uh, I think I might respawn back here at Benedict Slumber Batch and uh, do some things around there for a few minutes until we're able to fast travel back. And then plan B was to mount up on Phyllis and just try to gallop down the coast as fast as she can go to bring her back down to the new base. All the while, we're going to have Dave the Second walled off back up here, and then uh, when the time comes, since he's too small and slow and difficult to transport, I think I'm only a few levels away. Let's actually respawn back down here, start executing our plan. Um, Hopefully our stuff that was dropped is still here, and it is. Awesome. Decomposes in 17 seconds. Okay, that was very good timing. Uh, take all from inventory, please. Thank you. So, what level are we at here? We're at level 27, so we're still a little ways away. Um, but at level, I think it's 35. I checked recently. I think it's level 35. We can put the, uh, we can learn the saddle for the, um... 
I always forget the names for the. T I think it's the pterosaur. It's the the basic flying one. You can learn the saddle for it at level 35. So once we reach that, we could fly up to where Dave the Second is, and just pick him up and fly him straight back here, which seems like a pretty cool way to do things, and pretty safe as far as Dave the Second is concerned. Um, so why don't we throw our clothes back on here? Um, the, the, the hat skin. There we go, Bruce. Looking beautiful, my man. Um, so yeah, I think what I want to try to focus on, since we have to spend some time back here before we can fast travel anyways, I would love, love, love to be able to tame this second, um, Do Doeticurus, as I was calling them last week until you guys were telling me that that was wrong. Although I looked it up, because I was curious. Why are you so wounded? What? Why is everything dead out here? What? What? <laughs> what has happened? Is this the dino apocalypse? Is this the big meteor that is going to wipe out everything that we know and love? But seriously, why are these guys so wounded? Oh, that's a dead Rex. Huh. Well, I will gladly take your prime meat, sir. You know, I suppose what we could do, too... I don't know why I forgot about this idea. This was kind of the original idea until it slipped my mind. Is that... did it escape? Yeah, I think that's the one. I think she broke loose. Damn it. Oh, no, no, no. Nope, that's a different one. So as I was starting to say, what we could do, too, uh, like the original plan, is just craft the raft, can craft the raft down here and then just sail it down. Uh, the only reason I started to change that and wanted to craft it down there was so it would only be a one-way trip instead of two ways, so half the danger. But I kind of forgot at that time that we had to drop everything when we used fast transport. So yeah, why don't we do that? Because I don't want to abandon lightly this rescue attempt. I would love to be able to do that this episode. Um, last episode we focused so much on uh, taming and we got this nice herd that we have now but uh, I would love to be able to go and uh, bring back Dave and Phyllis the dodo rex is no more <laughs> alright well, I'm not entirely sure what happened with the dodo rex kind of a shame I was hoping to at least get a peek at whatever it is um, but while that was happening, I've just been out here on Timmy, uh, rounding up some wood so that we can get this raft together. Uh, we're just about there. Oh, guys, check it out. It's a pumpkin patch. There's a Dilo over there, but he shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> can we do anything with the pumpkins? Oop, fists. Sweet, we got some pumpkins. I don't know what we can do with them, but... <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> Sorry, Timmy. I guess I was working you a little bit too hard, huh, buddy? Just trying to pick up those last couple pieces of wood. They will want to make unconscious. I wonder if I can give it stim berries to wake him up. Or if I should just wait. Remote use item. Let's take a look at that torpor. Yeah, that'll speed the process along. No idea if there are any negative effects to pounding a bunch of stim berries. Recover food, lose stupidity, but it will dehydrate you. Well, the dinos don't even have a stat for water or thirst. There must be some negative effect to it. But... Why don't we just feed you a couple of these? Move this along, huh, buddy? Wakey, wakey! Finish up that dino coffee. There we go. There's my big guy. Oh, yeah, he's all psyched up now. <laughs> Alright, so let me see. How many pieces short are we? We are two pieces short. All those stim berries are just ready to barrel down these trees, huh? Alright, Timmy, thank you, my good man. I know that I am very encumbered, but that's okay. Because we are going to use this stuff immediately to craft... What am I missing? 250 wood! Why was I thinking it was 140? Oh. Oh. Okay. 
Well, sorry Timmy, we gotta go back to work. So guys, it took me a while to realize this. This is why you don't usually record at three in the morning. But <laughs> when you're not firing on all cylinders, you don't quickly realize that Timmy was cutting down trees and gaining mostly thatch, the equivalent of like using a pickaxe. Whereas if I just manually jumped off and did it with a hatchet, I could get a ton more wood much more quickly. And now we can head on home. Slowly making our way towards the water. We're carrying something. Something real heavy. Ba-boom! There it is, folks. Awesome. Looks like she's pretty seaworthy to me. So let's make sure that everybody's all set here at the home front before we go off gallivanting on uh, Plan B. <laughs> it's actually Plan C. We kind of skipped over Plan B for now. Uh, let's make sure that you level up there, Dana. Uh, let's do your melee damage. Good, good. Anybody else level up around here? No, you're still good. You're still good. Everybody's all good. Door is closed, so Mrs. Dave is nice and safe. All right, guys. Am I carrying anything of value that I do not want to lose? What the hide? I'm carrying a lot of hide. Why don't we drop that back off in here? I was just taking a look here, guys, really quick before making our journey. I was hoping that there might actually be another weapon that we could take along just in case something came up and we had to protect ourselves. Um, and I think that probably next episode I would love to try to get into some of this stuff. Probably while we're taming the um, the other armadillo over there. Um, should probably try to experiment with the smithy guy. I know that we don't have a lot of metal on us right now. Uh, I kind of have to go up north into the mountains to really get large metal deposits. But it would still be cool to try to check out some of the stuff like the crossbow and the pike. Some of the metal tools. So, alright. Something to look at next time. For now, we just have to rely on our wits and our charm and our very, very primitive tools. Unless I take somebody along for the ride, that's actually what I wanted to do too before we head out. I would like to make sure that we can actually carry dinos on this thing. Let's test this out. If I ride Randy... Oh yeah. Yep. We're good. E to drive. Here we go. <laughs> Taking her out for a cruise. We're coming, Dave. We're coming. Bruce. Master and Commander. I don't know how dangerous it is out here with the other, like, sea creatures. Um, I think what I read when I looked into this is that uh, some of the bigger creatures can't or won't attack. Uh, but the Sarkos might be able to climb aboard. Ooh, hello. Why don't we steer clear of you? Because I'm guessing that you can swim a little bit. It's actually quite peaceful out here on the open water. Of course, this is when I get mauled by some Loch Ness monster that's <laughs> living just offshore, but for the time being, everything seems pretty nice and peaceful. So I'm pretty confident that if we can get there in one piece, and we've got a pretty clear area, we're going to be able to get Phyllis on board. The big question right, right now is going to be Dave. I don't know with his stubby little dodo legs if he's going to be able to climb up onto this thing. Um... If he can't, I don't know. It's going to be a problem. We might just have to um, fence him off, kind of like I was talking about before, and come back later once we get a... Um... Oh, it's driving me nuts. I forget what the uh, the basic birds are called. If they're um, pterosaurs... I think it's a pterosaur. Or pterodons. I forget. But once we get one of those, we can come back and just scoop them up. That looks like that's our glade over there. This glade is bigger than I thought it was. We've got to figure out exactly where the house is. Alright guys, this might be a bad idea, but I'm just going to park here for a second. Go take a peek inland. See if I can't scope out where the house is. This is terrifying. I didn't think I'd have to wander around the swamp like this. I thought the house was right on the edge. I thought it would be easy to find. I don't want to wander too far, guys. I'm gonna head back to the chopper. <gasps> what is that? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, sweet. Shh. 
Everybody shut up. Don't make a noise. Those crocs are probably going to be around here. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, come on. Get up here. Um, follow. Oh, Dave, come on. You can do it, man. Get up here. Am I going to get stuck? Oh boy, what did I do? What did I do? We might have to hack our way out of here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, are you on? No, I think you're under. Alright, well Phyllis, let's get you on. Actually, you know what? No. I don't want to be swinging this thing around while you're nearby. Oh, come on Dave, you can do this, buddy. He's so tiny, can't I just pick him up and put him on? I don't understand if... The flying dinos and the birds can pick up things. Why can't we pick up tiny things like the dodos? I don't think that he can go up uh, ramps because we try to get him up this one. What if we did like a... Um, okay, all right. Bear with me. What if we did a like a foundation or something? What can we do? <clears throat> a wooden foundation. We need fiber. All right, let's try this. Um, Dave, come on back here, okay, buddy? Uh, follow, 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 T. Come on, come on, Dave. Come on back here, buddy. Come on, Dave, please. Why is Dave following the raft? Don't no, Dave follow me. There you go. There you go. Good boy. Good boy. Can you make it around over here? Good boy, Dave. Alright. Now, we craft. First, we'll try a ramp. If the ramp doesn't work, we'll try a foundation. Crap. Huh. I wonder if that's why Dave couldn't climb up there. Dave, follow me. Try this, try this. time, the ramp just wasn't going all the way down. It was touching the water, but I guess because the actual surface was underneath that, we needed an extra ramp. Oh, stupid. Alright, now wait. Um, hang on a second. You stay. Stay, Dave. Good. Now, let me see if I pull this thing around so it's right next to the ramp. Swing it around. Please don't attract a lot of attention. Maybe a little tighter turning radius. This thing does not maneuver so hot. Come on, get through this, get through this. Yep, good, good, good. Alright. It's like Apollo 13. I gotta park this thing just right. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> oh man, if this works. All right, come on. Uh, follow T. Come on, Dave. Come on, buddy. You can do this. You can do this, big guy. You stay is going to be wise. I'm going to have to tell you this at just the right moment. Come on. Come on, big guy. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. Stay. Stay. <laughs> Alright, if I try to move the raft now. <gasps> He's on! He's on the raft! Oh my god, this is the greatest thing ever! Come on, Phyllis. You too. Time to go. 
Time to get out of here. Nope. Wrong one. Saddle up. Saddle up, girl. Why can I not equip saddle to... What happened to her saddle? Crap! What happened to her saddle? I swear that Phyllis had a saddle on her, didn't she? What happened? Is it inside? I didn't see it in the inventory in any of the storage boxes. The Fiomia saddle only needs 20 hides. Oh, just when I thought we were out, they pull us back in. Because I don't think that she's going to be able to follow us right up here. We can try it. We can try it. Maybe we can do the same maneuver like we did with Dave. But I thought it would be easy. I thought we could just ride her right on up. Um, follow. Come on. Come on, Ark. Don't be a spaz. I'm trying to jump up here. It's obvious what I'm trying to do. I know that I'm capable of climbing up. Please just do it. Thank you. It's too high. Phyllis can't do it. Crap. Come on, give me those hides. Please, please give me those hides. Damn it. And I can't fix it because I don't have any flint. And I can't harvest from this rock. Oh, could things go more wrong after having gone so right? That's a boa. That's a boa. Shh. Yes, yes, yes. Flint. Got the flint. At least I hope this frog is easy. I haven't actually tried. Watch this thing be extremely deadly. Oh. 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 Oh, it's the snake! Oh, it's the snake! No! I'm gonna go unconscious. It's gonna kill me. Okay, okay. We can recover from this. Let's bounce back at old glory. Okay, okay. You guys still good? I am going to run back over, try to recover. What? I had. Sweet. Thank god those snakes don't stick around. Alright, so... Where's my stuff? There it is. Take everything? Okay. So what's left here? Um... Loves. <laughs> Alright. Your lower your lower half is gonna be a little bit exposed for a while, Bruce. Well, let's try the Carbonemus. He looks pretty weak. We'll just have to be careful because we're kinda weak ourselves. What level is it? Level three. Um I mean we could try to knock it out. We've only got fifteen rocks on us, but we could get some more. That's probably the better way to do it though. Oh, 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 crap, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Leave me alone. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I said I'm sorry. Oh, you just stomp around, jump in front of my rock bullets, and you blame me for it. There we go. Sweet. Hmm. Let's finish strong now, guys. Let's see. Crafting... Where, where, oh where? Feel me a saddle. Let's see if this might just be crazy enough to work. Let's back it up a little bit. Phyllis! You've done it! Alright, is there anything left here that we need to take back with us? Please keep your arms and legs inside the carpet. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Phyllis, what did I say about arms and legs inside the carpet? Okay, okay, let's swing it around. Let's try this again. That's it, girl. Back it on up.
<sighs> All right, take two. Let's try this again. Hopefully we are positioned in such a way that they're not going to get pushed off and we are out of here. Unbelievable. Can't believe we just pulled that off. <laughs> Look at this. The gang's back together again. Dave and Phyllis heading back to the new homestead. This, this is a good day. Cause we're the three best friends that anyone could have Cause we're the three best friends that anyone could have Check out this dynamic trio Sailing down the coast <laughs> Pantsless <laughs> Those dinos on the shore are so jealous I think we're almost home guys Wait till you see this new place Dave you're gonna love it. Guys! Guys, I'm back! <clears throat> yeah! Come and greet me home. Awesome. Guys, check out the new members of the family. Phyllis and Dave. We go way back. You guys have no idea. Alright. Give them some room to breathe, guys. I know you're all excited to meet them, but everybody come on up here. Come on. Everybody up this way. There you go. Come on, guys. Everybody. Everybody on up. <laughs> oh, I missed you guys. You know, I, I have a confession to make. I did die a couple of times while I was away. That's why I might look different and why I don't have any pants on. There's only one possible better way to end this episode than this vision right here. That's it, Dave. Come on inside, buddy. Look who we have here. Oh, look who we have here with the hearts immediately popping up. Wow, I actually didn't know how they were going to pair if I had to do something, but it looks like it just naturally happens. They are mate boosted already. Love at first sight. Oh, wow. It's a thing of beauty. Dave the second and Mrs. Dave. All right, you two lovebirds. I'm going to leave you two in here to do whatever it is you two feel like, like uh, pooping on the floor, for example. But anywho, close the door so they can have some privacy. What an episode, guys. That was unbelievable. What an epic rescue attempt. That was so much fun. I had no idea if that was going to be a complete failure or what. I mean, the, the first attempt, plan A, was a disaster. But the uh, the ship idea, I'm going to have to look back in the comments and figure out whoever recommended that because that was an awesome idea. Thanks a lot. So that's going to do it for this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I know I had a blast playing like I always do. So, again, yeah, hope you enjoyed it, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. And as always, at ease, Minutemen.